Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Prime Minister, the EU has established a permanent structured cooperation, otherwise known as PESCO. My party, Sinn Féin, opposed the creation of PESCO because we believe it will further militarise the EU, which is unnecessary, and will create a European army which is unwanted and dangerous. We campaigned against Ireland's involvement in PESCO for these reasons, and also because it would undermine Ireland's policy of neutrality. Denmark has opted out of PESCO. I very much support this approach. Can you explain the Danish people's particular concerns about joining this European military alliance? Well, uh, I'm afraid I will disappoint you a bit because uh, uh, I'm actually, from a personal and political point of view, in favour of uh, Europe taking a greater responsibility uh, in this uh, particular uh, area, talking about, you know, security, given the new uh, security situation in our neighbourhood. But for legal reasons, uh, Denmark can't participate uh, due to the fact that we have a legally binding opt-out on uh, EU defence policy. And uh, we simply need a referendum if we should opt in instead of out. Um, and I don't think uh, uh, the time is for referendums, uh, honestly speaking. So you can't interpret the fact that uh, we are not joining this PESCO as a signal from Denmark of being against this idea. Um, we are a core member in NATO, uh, and uh, also due to the new administration in, uh, in, uh, in the White House and the security situation uh, in our own uh, neighborhood, I will not go into details, uh, it is quite obvious that Europe must pay more attention to this. Um, being a NATO member and a member of the European Union with this legally binding opt-out, uh, my priority is to ensure that we do not copy-paste um, capacity is, uh, within the NATO framework and the EU framework. We have to make sure that the European strategy creates real added value to what's already going on in, uh, in NATO.